Sometimes we need to incorporate some different symbols in our drawings. For example, if you are working on some engineering or surveying examples, we need to include the, those symbols specified for those. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to access those symbols and how to insert those in our text. On my screen, I've got a plot of survey. This is a essentially a dimensioned property boundary here we've got. On the right is uh, the finished example, and the left uh, is the unfinished example that we're going to finish that. So, uh, first of all, we're going to eliminate this one here uh, and to make it uh, to look just like that and the unfinished drawing right here and we have to include those uh, symbols that we don't see on our keyboard now we've got here uh, some little circles here those represents the degrees and this means uh, this line uh, lies 30 degrees 20 minutes 29 seconds on the north east and the length of this line is 168.79 feet and we're going to uh, recreate that on our unfinished object right there so for that to do that we're going to uh, launch the multi-line text editor multi-line text uh, icon right there and uh, I'm going to put the first corner and the midpoint of this line right there and I'm going to right click and uh, to access to a rotation option or sub option right there. I'm going to rotate this so it's uh, facing this line just like that. I'm going to select this endpoint and now before clicking, uh, let's right click and specify a justification here I'm going to select justify and you can use any one of these you like uh, I'm going to use middle center right there and click right here and as you see AutoCAD gives us the uh, horizontal view of the sticks because uh, we can see it much better and just after we've exited the editing mode it's going to be rotated just the way we want it and we're going to enter those numbers here north 30 and we need the uh, this uh, degrees symbol right now here for that I'm going to go to the text editor tab insert panel and the symbols drop down here from this uh, we can choose some of the most used uh, or popular symbols here for example degrees plus minus diameter or any one of these here I'm going to use the degrees and 20 minutes 29 seconds to the east enter 168.79 feet and I'm going to exit that now the rotation is good but the position is not good I'm going to position that as the other one for that I'm going to select it and the grips are here we're going to use that grip to that and I'm going to place it at this midpoint right there so that's great I'm going to press escape now let's look at the other one the other one here we've got a uh, this symbol, this is uh, delta. This represents the angle of the arc. For example, if we wanted to uh, draw a line from this uh, midpoint to the center of the arc, to the center, uh, to the this endpoint here, uh, the value uh, we're going to be these numbers here 38 degrees 56 minutes and 33 seconds 
this is for that now we're going to recreate that right there that's great we'll launch the multi-text editor in there and type the values enter now we need this uh, that delta symbol here I'm gonna go back to the symbols icon right there man from this list uh, kind of have to find it right there right here Delta another good thing is that uh, this list is alphabetically organized here we can use the Delta right there 38 the degree symbol 56 minutes 33 seconds and there we have it let's uh, position uh, this text to look more like the other one I'm going to select that select this script right here and position it right there that's great press escape to exit that now I'd like to uh, put another uh, symbol here which is the copyright symbol for that I'm going to launch the text editor once more and uh, watch this we can't find the copyright symbol here no center line and this is Delta there's no copyright uh, for the symbols that we can not find on this list we have to go to the other right at the bottom of this list now we've got a world of symbol here uh, you can choose any one of these you want from this list and these symbols as you see are quite a small uh, when we select any of these symbols the AutoCAD is going to blow that off uh, for us to see it better this is the copyright we can select that select it and we can copy it and this is copy the into the clipboard I'm going to exit this right there and we can uh, paste this by con uh, right clicking and pasting it or pressing the control and V on your keyboard now AutoCAD uh, returns a carriage return here I'm going to backspace and and type copyright 2012 I'm going to click outside the box now AutoCAD may not have all the symbols we possibly need but it has gone a long way to provide us with the many industry and standard symbols that uh, we're going to use it 